True Studio. Um, as you can see, we have six games now. No longer, uh, uh, we no longer have the four game version up, up in the corner here. We have a hardware uh, icon you can, in the upper right hand corner, you can click on. And when you do, there's a lot of, most of this information you don't need to know. In, this, in the center of this channel is actually what you see on your, um, you can adjust the channels that you're using um, down below. Um, as you can see, uh, down below it says True Studio, so you can change the name from True Studio to True Studio One, Two, or Three. Um, it tells you what Wi-Fi channels you're you're using. I mean, again, most of this is information you might not need to know. Uh, you probably don't need to know it whatsoever. But um, and as you know, True Studio it works as a browser, so it shoots out to its own Wi-Fi signal. So you got to log into it just like a browser, and, and you put in this web address here. Once you're logged into the True Studio Wi-Fi, and you can, by doing that, you can control uh, you can control the game or a sparring or practice session right from your iPhone or iPad. So like that, we'll close that out. And so we have a few games here. We have Against the Clock. Um, sparring, regular sparring. The graphics are different, but it works the same. And we have Marathon. We have Last Fighter Standing, Practice. And then another one called Combat, it's like Street Fighter. So with that, let's, uh, let's go over to Against the Clock, and I'll show you how that one works. Pretty basic, you just press continue, it tells you the game rules in the beginning, and then, so you have the time and duration and time per rest, I, let's put 10 seconds uh, for rest time, because I'm an animal. <laughs> and then, of course, the starting level, um, level one is the absolute lowest, level 10 is the highest, so, it, and, and basically the way this game works, you, you press start, and then you'll hear a countdown buzzer, Right now it's on mute. I'm actually doing a voiceover right now. So anyway, you notice the bar at the top, how it's going down. You have to kick to keep that bar up. And then it'll keep winding down and winding down. And it's it's pretty fast. You're at the top level. <laughs> so obviously I didn't make it, so the game's over. Um, uh, you're in round one. Against the clock goes by rounds. Um, of course, right here is the, uh, the hit level of... Above is the threshold level for the head and a separate threshold level for the body. And in this game, you can actually separate the thresholds. There. Points are there in the center because I'm only using one transmitter, a chest gear transmitter. Um, yeah, the hit level, that that is just telling you what the last hit level was that was scored. So, All right, let's go back home. Let's go to sparring. Um, again, this is just like our ring management software. Uh, that you see at tournaments, uh, they're requiring the same information. Rest time, I always put 10 seconds. Just for show, click save, all the IDs are in correctly. Um, as you can see, both transmitters popped up. The light's green, that means we have sync. We press start, and again, there's a buzzer, like a countdown buzzer, and then after it sounds off, it starts counting down, and um, yeah, now, this is what I want you to notice. If you look here, um, blue is kicking red. So the points on the bottom, right there, that's three. So blue has three points. Over here on red, it says three to the body, but that's not because red scored three. It's because they got kicked in the body three times by blue, which is why the, the, the color is blue on the red uh, player here. It means blue kicked them. So, just a heads up to some people in this uh, hit level is the last hit that was scored. And you can pause and resume. And again, you can run this from iPad or iPhone. See the points popping up? So, red is hitting blue. Now, red has two points. And in the blue on the chest, it says that blue got hit two times, as you notice. So, that's how you read the software. kind of tells you where you get hit. Maybe you need to block more. Maybe, maybe you should run. <laughs> but... Nevertheless, that's how you read the sparring software. All right, and below, of course, are the final numbers, as always. The 
final score. So that's sparring. Marathon's a little different. It's like against the clock, the only difference is it's non-stop. So we start at a very low level. It's a start level speed. We'll start at one. Um, body threshold, I always leave it to. You can put it up to Olympic uh, settings or your local venue settings. So um, start level is one. In a marathon, I always recommend you start at level one. You'll see why. So we're waiting for that sound off buzzer again. And there it goes. If you notice the bar at the top, um, it's going counting is going very slow, and that's good for the juniors. It's, it's going really slow; they can keep up with it. Um, you notice as time goes on. If you notice now, the bar is going a little faster now, and it just keeps going faster and faster. So you're kicking, and as you kick, the bar is going up your life bar, so that you can play longer or kick longer. If you notice the glow around the player, it, it goes dim if you don't kick um, enough times, or if you're dead, it goes all, it goes. There's no glow at all. So, as you can tell, it's starting to speed up really fast now. Points are going up. You see the hit level in the bottom left corner. That's what your threshold hit, uh, or how hard you hit. Your last kick was. That's what I should say. <laughs> All right, so that's marathon, and let's go to last fighter standing. I'll just show you this. Um, what this one is, it's definitely a multiplayer game, and uh, I got two transmitters logged in. There's actually three. You can, as you can see with the screen, you can play up to eight players at the same time. You notice there, there's no sync on three 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 because there's no transmitter. <laughs> but I'm just showing you. So basically, what this player has to do, this is a little different. Whatever player you're in you notice um, the score below will show up on top if you so so basically what you're doing is you got to kick and whoever kicks the most times gets to go on to the next round whoever kicks the least amount of times they go gray like the boxes below so um, and it keeps going round after round after round until there's one fighter left last fighter standing so that's this game. All right, and we'll go back. Okay, next one, practice. Maybe I'll, you know what? I think I'll go to practice last. That's probably the one most people are interested in. Combat. Combat, so we, we created it kind of like, think of it, I, maybe I shouldn't say this. Think of it kind of like Street Fighter. So you're sparring. You could spar up to eight players at the same time. See the screen? So eight people can spar at the same time or four rings off of one system. Um, one receiver needed. All you need is one computer. You have to get all this different equipment. If you notice at the top, there's a life bar. So that life bar, basically, it doesn't necessarily go on points. You do get points for hitting your opponent, but the harder you kick, the more the life bar goes out. Even though the point will be like you get one point for a kick to the body, the life bar will actually deplete more if you kick it harder. So if you have, um, I've never seen this, I mean, but it does, it, we set it up to where if you blast somebody, that life bar will just shoot right down. And the score could be two to five, and the person with two could still win because those two hits are really, really hard. <laughs> so it is possible, but again, that's um, a little different, a little different here. And then, uh, we'll, um, Let's just go to number of players. Let's go to two. We're going to look at combat again. Uh, time per round, let's put 20 seconds. Make it easy for everyone. And uh, 20 seconds. And the status bar. You want to put that status. If it's 100, it's very easy to put the bar down. But if you put it at 1,000, it's difficult. It makes it more difficult to to kick that bar down. You can um, that life bar down. Anyway, you can go to unlimited. You have time per round. You can unlimited. You just spar until the life bar is gone. Um, I always go for time, so uh, do that. You can do one round up to three rounds. I mean, it's up to you. There's a lot of different variables in this. 
Um, so let's do this. Let's save. So it's two players. So we'll kick and we gotta wait for that buzzer again. Again, this is combat. So this is just a demonstration of combat. And as you notice, the more you kick, the more the life bar goes down. Um, and of course, because of the you put it at a thousand as far as the status bar and the uh, program options, you, it takes a while for that bar to go down. If you left it at a hundred, two kicks would deplete that life bar above. So it all depends on how you want to play the game. Same numbers correspond to um, this. Is, it's basically like sparring, only you're dependent on that life bar. And as long as your life bar is up, you'll make it to the next round. Pretty basic stuff. Let's go back to now practice. This one's good. There's no time. It's pretty straightforward. You can have up to eight people going at the same time, but um, let me show you what that's like. So eight players can practice all at the same time. Uh, they could be kicking electronic shields, electronic paddles. Some people like to put the chest gear on a like a bob. Uh, eight lines of a, a boss so that the whole class can practice electronic, you can have an electronic class or program um, all off one computer. So let's go back. Um, there we go. Let's go to practice again. And let's just do the two player. This is for example, of course. Save. Notice the lights light up, they're green. You press start and there's still a buzzer, but as you can see, there's no timer. So you're kicking. Um, and this time, if the way you read this is if the red player kicks, the red player gets the point. It doesn't cross over to the blue player. Um, this is meant for sh maybe kicking a shield or putting a hogu on a, on a bob and you, you kick. and No time. You can go forever. And then when you're done, you press finish. There is a stat bar, though. If you notice down below, you see the graph, you kick, you see the hit level, your average hits, how often you hit. Um, so if you maybe you could tell a player like, hey, you're not kicking hard enough, you're not kicking fast enough, or as many times, it tells you all that. All so there's a stat bar with with uh, the practice level. For more of the uh, the elite athletes, maybe they want to look at the stats and improve their stats from training to training. Um, it's good. It's a it's a great tool to use, especially for people training for the uh, junior nationals, senior nationals, even Olympic games. I mean, the system's the same, same equipment. So let's go out of there. All right, and let's go back up to info. Click on that. All right, and don't forget the to put in the browser name. So if you get True Studio, it puts out a Wi-Fi signal. You click on that True Studio and put in that browser address and you're all set.